Welcome to another episode of Digging with Deej. It's my fourth mail call. And this will be a combination mail call and digging episode. Just a short dig. I recently ordered a custom shovel from DePace Ironworks. The owner being Justin DePace. Um... You know him better as Justin in the team of Johnny U Adventures. And he has his own YouTube channel that he puts up videos on when he's not able to hunt with Johnny. And puts them on his own channel. His channel is called History Hunter Justin DePace. He also has a Facebook channel page called DePace Ironworks. So if you get a chance, check those two out. At the end of the video, I will be putting uh, clips that show both websites. He is a blacksmith and he does everything from gnarly shovels to beautiful artwork. And it just came in the mail today. So I decided to do the video today. It's a nice sunny day because I'm going to go outside in my backyard and try the shovel out after I show it to you. So first let me show you what the shovel looked like when it got to the post office. When I went to pick it up. I thought it was really strange that my postmaster knew that I got a shovel in the mail. I'm thinking, what, did it come out of the box or what? So let me put up a photograph of how it was shipped to me. Now you've seen how the shovel arrived to the post office. And I was laughing so hard when I got to my car and I thought, oh my gosh, this is so, going to be so hard to get those stickers off without soaking it. Well, you don't have to soak it. All you got to do is take a hair dryer and put it on hot and aim it at the stickers or labels and then slowly pull them off and they come right off. So no more stickers. So let me show you the shovel that he custom made for me because he is a wizard when it comes to metal work. He's done some artistic things, not just making, you know, tough shovels. Um, and one of the videos on Johnny U Adventures is actual start to finish him making one of these shovels. But I wanted mine special. <laughs> So, and I told him what I wanted, and he came through and did it. So, here it is. There's the blade, and it says, Deej, D-E-E-J. But then I sent him this, and asked him if there was some way he could put it in a bezel and weld it to the handle. And he was able to do it. But I needed an hourly shovel for my farm permissions, the you know, the farm fields, because that lesh just was, I was digging forever to get deep holes. And that's more of a shovel, I think, for like a house permission. It's, it's not so aggressive looking, you know. They don't feel like you're coming with a giant shovel to tear up their whole yard when you bring a lesh. This shovel is gnarly enough to attack the fields. But I know for a fact that Justin uses his shovels in yards. It, it cuts a nice plug. So we're going to give this a shot. Um, the snow has melted. I think it's almost all gone out of my backyard. So my home is on a piece of land that originally there was a house built in 1878 on my property. And then back in the 50s, they knocked that house down 
and built the house I'm in now. So, uh, apparently, um, one of the old timers in town told me that he remembers being a little boy. All the kids of the neighborhood came and watched the tractors take chains and pull this house down. And they pulled it down the hill, burned it, and then buried it. So that's why I've been finding so many things in my backyard. But um, next we're going to take the shovel out and do a test run with it in my backyard. So stay tuned. Okay, bear with me. I'm in my backyard and I live on a busy road, so you're going to hear car noise. It's unavoidable. So, if you remember, last fall, I had this area marked off with the flags. Well, the flags survived the winter for my supermoon video. So, I left the flags in the ground because I wanted to come back in the spring and see if the frost moved anything up towards the surface. So, let's try out the new gnarly shovel from the Pace Iron Works. Frost wants to push something up. So, let's dig it up. It says it's 8 plus inches. All right, I'm going to cut it extra big. See if I can do this one-handed. My ground is really firm, so it's not totally thawed out. Okay, now I can move this. And my lash probably wouldn't have pushed through that ice. Oh, there's something there. It's strong enough for me to jump on it with both feet. Look at that. Cutting an extra big plug so I don't miss it. Or scratch, whatever it is. Oh, I just hit something. Oh, well, okay, let me put you on the tripod. plug lots of rock looks like a twist top bottle. Plastic, that's not a good sign. Okay. It's a penny, it's a memorial. You got metal in your nose or what? <laughs> oh, I know what it is. 
her license hangs down. That's what's setting it off. I got a wire brush here somewhere. Let's see. Hopefully my camera phone doesn't tip over. Hey, it does. It says something. B E S T Huh Best something Sad iron it says sad iron right on it cool Whoa Look at that I wish I had an electrolysis thing I don't have one. Got all kinds of old phone chargers, but I don't know how to do that stuff. And I don't have a battery charger. Look at that. That is going to turn out so cool if I can just get figure out how to get an electrolysis thing. Okay, on to the next. That's one good find. That and a penny. We'll do one more hole. Let's see what we can find. What a good plug. Look at that. Cut a really nice plug. Tanner, get out of the way of the camera. You is a camera ham. Okay, here's my roundup. Um, I was so upset. I was I dug this up and realized my camera was not on. I, all I had done is took a picture of it. And that. So, let's see. Turn this this way. <clears throat> it says best. And then OS. Bestus. Sad iron. Best is sad iron. I don't know. There could be something else here. I don't know. And then what I think is a pulley. An old pulley. Look at that. It's pretty gnarly rusted. So I washed. Tried to get a lot of the dirt off, but it's got a ways to go. Uh, two bent nails. I think that's the lead off a can, maybe. The edge of a can. I have no idea what that is. Like cast iron, almost. Then I got two pennies. A 1970 penny and a 1983 Zinken. And a modern twist-off cap crown top bottle. So, that was it. But the shovel worked fantastic. So... I was worried that because it didn't have teeth, it wouldn't cut good into the ground. It did just fine. So that will work, definitely work better than my lesh does in the farm fields. Definitely. So in a minute, I'm going to show you Justin's own personal channel. When he and Johnny can't get together to hunt together, 
Justin will go out himself and he has his own YouTube channel. So the next screen will be a picture of his YouTube channel. Hang on. This is Justin's YouTube channel. It's called History Hunter Justin DePace. Um, he has, let's see, 76 subscribers so far. So if you get a chance, go over to his channel and give him some love. He can use your subscription. Then if you go to Facebook, this is his Facebook page for DePace Ironworks. And any questions you might have, or if you want to order a shovel from him, um, I needed my shovel to be um, shorter than most. I'm not very tall, and with my back brace and digging, they don't go together very good. So I needed a shorter shovel. So, but, and he was able to do everything I needed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.